have you guys seen the movie Totoro? No, we've actually never seen it before. Oh, we should totally watch it. Are you guys down? Yeah. Let's do it. It's one of my favorites. Yay! I'm so excited. Hey, don't you think it would be cool if somebody actually made that? Yeah, like a shirt or a yeah. rug, maybe a T-shirt. Yeah, dude. Yeah, a poster. You know what? A cardigan. That would be awesome. Cardigan. I can do that. How would I make it? Hi guys, so today we're gonna start working on a new project. I haven't decided if it's gonna be a tapestry or a cardigan, it might be a cardigan, but we're gonna work on Studio Ghibli, because there's so many different pronunciations. Studio Ghibli, that's the American pronunciation, uh, and we're gonna make Totoro. So that's why I'm sitting in front of this puzzle right there. Yes, it's a puzzle, and he's right there. The big furry guy. And so I'm super excited. Uh, I'm only going to show you at the beginning how I'm going to start working the chart, maybe three or four rows. And then hopefully you guys get the hang of it. And I'm going to post the chart down below in the description box so you can click on it and do it yourself just because it'll be a little bit easier, I think, after you get the hang of it. It's just kind of pointless watching it. And it's gonna it would be like way too long. So let's not waste any more time and let's get started. So here's our Totoro. We're going to be using our 3.5 millimeter hook. I'm going to be using this green color for the background and I will be using this gray as our main color and we have a lighter gray for the middle. So let's start working. This is going to be different because we're going to use single crochet. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to chain, we're going to make a chain of 75 in our green yarn. So we're going to make a loop just how we do any other loops. And then we're gonna grab our hook and make 75 chains. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so here is our chain of 75. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to chain one. So chain one and we're gonna single crochet into our 75th chain or the second chain from the hook. I'm going to do that 22 times. One, two, three, single crochet. You just go in the loop, pull up the yarn. You have two loops on your hook and pull through two. So we've done one, two, three, four, five, 20, 21, and 22. Okay, after a 20 second chain, we're gonna do 10 chains in black. So remember on the 22nd, we're gonna change our yarn. So we're gonna grab our black yarn right here. And we're going to do 10 chains in black. So that's 22. So just make a loop and then you're just going to yarn over with the green. And then let's do 10 chains. So one, I'm just gonna leave the back one, two, three. So I don't wanna drag my green for too long. So I'm going to, on the fourth, kinda hide it behind it. So three, so when we go in, we're gonna kinda push the back end on it and just kind of bring it with us so it's not just so we don't have to cross over and I'll show you when we get um, when it gets longer what I'm talking about one two three four four five six seven and then Eight and then nine and 
And after the 10th, we're going to do two chains in green. So. One, two, and then we're going to do 13 chains in black. So it looks like this on the back. So 13, so one, two, three, let's grab this yarn. Four, five, six, seven. Let's grab the yarn again. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12 and one more 13 perfect and then we're gonna do 28 chains in green so let's continue doing that so grab over 28 chains so one two three four so continue doing that all the way till the end 27 and 28 perfect so we finished our first row we're just starting to work on its legs so now we're going to make sure we're going to cross over our first row let's do a red color and then So now we're going to go backwards from left to right and we're going to do 23 chains and we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, black and then we're going to do 1, 2, the same amount in light gray, 2 black. And then the same amount in light gray. So let's get back. So we're going to chain one and we're going to flip our work on the wrong side. So you should see all these messy stuff on here. So now let's get back. We're going to do 23 chains in green. So one two, three, 22, and on the 23rd, we're gonna do five black. So we're gonna grab our black yarn and bring it over here. And we're gonna do one, two, three, Remember, we're going to take our green yarn, just kind of hide it behind it. Four. And five. Then we're going to do gray. We're going to do all these black chains in darker gray. So we're going to grab our new yarn color. This one. Just make a loop and introduce our color okay and then just go into that loop and make that mm, okay just let it hang for now one two three let's bring both of these colors just so they could follow with us It's getting a little bit thicker, but we can manage four and then five, six, seven. Oh, go again. Eight. 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then thirteen. And then again, we're going to switch it with black. So black is going to get two, one, two. And then again, we're going to do dark gray. And then, so I want two, there you go, one. One, two, and then we have to change it with black. So one black, and then we're going to do green all the way back. And now let's finish the row with the green. And then go all the way back in green. <clears throat> so after finishing our second row, it looks like this. We're going to chain one. We're going to cross over our work, wherever you're tracking it on. And we're going to flip our work. So it looks like this. And don't worry about this because I'll, um, I'll move it to the back. But here we're doing the legs of Totoro. So now we're going to go back and we're going to stop one before the black. So chain one and single crochet back until one green before black. Okay, so we're coming up. So we are two before the green. So we're going to go into that single crochet and we're going to grab our black yarn and we're going to make one single crochet in that green chain. And then we're going to do gray all the way until two gray before the black. Remember, we're still going to do that process. One, two, three. After each third um, chain, um, you're going to grab the black and just kind of hide it behind it. Behind the gray. So you're going to have it right there and you're just going to go into that single crochet again. And pull up like that for a nice and then one two three and again perfect so we're coming to the end so now we're gonna about to do um, one before so one more and now we're gonna change to our black yarn and we're just gonna do one in black So one in black, and then again, switch it back to the gray. So one, two, three, on our next one we should. Four, and then one, two, three, and we're just doing it all the way until the end of this gray. Two, three, we're just coming up. One, two, three, and now we're gonna do black all the way or 
sorry, no, we're still doing gray, actually. We're still doing gray. Yep. going to change it to black and we're going to do black all the way until we have three six green left so go back in black so one two three One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're almost there. Continue working on that. One, two, three, four, five, six. So two more. One, two. And then we're going to grab our green. I'm going to go get a new color of green or a new fob, I guess I would say. And then finish this row with six green i'll meet you at the end so now we're going back we are going to chain one just make sure to flip all your work around and we're going to make four chains in green so one two three and on our fourth we're going to change to two black, so fourth, and then we're going to move our green yarn. I'm going to pick up our black yarn, just make sure black and gray is untangled. So pick up our black yarn, and we're going to make two chains in black so let's see we just need this so right there one kind of closing the edge two and then now we're gonna go in gray so we're gonna do 13 chains in gray so we're gonna move our black and grab our gray I'm gonna do 13 chains in dark gray. One, two, three, black yarn, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, and on the thirteenth, we're going to chain one black. And then do the rest in gray until we get to our first black chain right there. Two, three, let's get the black with us. Four, one, just gonna unwind some yarn. Two, three, four. One, two, 
two, three. fourth we're going to change our color and do one black so put the gray down and we're going to grab our black and do one chain in black and then again we're going to change our color back to dark gray and continue working dark gray until the first black chain one two Two, and on the third, we're going to chain one in black. One in black, and then we're going to switch off to green and finish the row with green yarn. Continue doing that all the way and I'll meet you at the end. After completing our third or fourth row, we're gonna chain one again with the green and flip our work around. We're gonna make sure everything is not tangled and we're just going to crochet green all the way until our first black chain. Just single crochets. Okay, so now we're gonna do one black. Then we're gonna do gray all the way until before one black. So get our gray color and again one, two, three. Just make sure the black is in here. One, two, three. And then right to before black, we're gonna change our color to black. So Take our black yarn and we're going to do just one in black. Perfect. Go back to gray. And we're going to crochet in gray all the way until the first black chain right in this row. So let's keep going. One, two, and then one, two. And then we're gonna change to black and we're gonna do two chains in black. So one, so it needs to look a little bit more formal. So one and two, and then we're gonna change back to gray. And we're gonna do go all the way until this two black in gray. Take your time, guys. You know, you can always slow down the video. I'm going too fast. All right, coming up. One, two, and three. Almost done. And one. And on the second one, on our last black, we're going to change our color to black and do one chain in black. Then we're going to pick up our green and finish that row with three green chains. So one two and three perfect so now we're this is the tail part of the totoro this is his big belly <laughs> and then this is his leg well i guess these are the two legs and then the belly will come up but yeah it's doing really good so now let's chain one and turn our work around so at this point i hope you got the hang of how to follow the chart and can now go on your own Fly, my little birds, fly! 
So I just want to do a really quick update. This is how far we have done. So it's huge. So this is Totoro. This is his tail. And we're about to, we're working in the middle center with the light gray. And the thing I like about this chart, it's not too many colors, which I really like and enjoy. And again, I'm using my Procreate app to keep track of all the rows that I do and mark it off. So we're basically just starting if you can see it, but let's keep going guys. I'm going to again, pass this forward and throw some lo-fi beats over it and then we'll do an update. Right now it is currently 11.56. So let's see how far we get done in, you know, three or four hours. and we did a lot of work so i just want to show you the progress so we already did um his belly and i'm super excited it's turning out really well sorry it's kind of hard to hold it um but yeah here it is i'm super happy how it turned out it there's a little bit few things that i don't like um and i don't know it's because of the single crochet or what i did wrong because i feel like i did pretty good on the back side so here's the back side what it looks like i try to leave no ends kind of out so it's a little easier to kind of wear it so i guess let's keep going i'm going to take a little break and go on a walk so i'll take you guys with me and make this like a vlog video and then we'll get back to this tomorrow probably but let me show you the diagram really quick on our procreate app so i can show you how uh, much we have left so this is how far we finished and look we're almost done we're not too far. So now we don't have this color, which is really nice, light gray. So now we can uh, just work in dark, uh, in black and dark gray, which is awesome. And then obviously green on the sides. But I'm super excited. We're getting there. Just, uh, well, should be done by tomorrow for sure. So let's go on our walk. Here I am on this beautiful trail getting my workout. There is a lot of mosquitoes. So I had to spray half a can on myself just to not get bitten because I hate those suckers. Anyway, let's go on a walk and then we can come back home and continue crocheting this is so pretty it is very smoky um just because there's a lot of fires going on and actually colorado is one of the worst states right now just look at this guys real quick not media related but isn't colorado so beautiful oh it's gorgeous Hi guys, it's day two and this is how far we've gotten. So we've completed the chest and now we're just moving to the head and the leaf. So I'm super excited. It is 11 a.m. So let's see how far we get, uh, we can get done today and then hopefully start working on our front two panels for our sweaters. So let's keep going. I'm gonna pass forward again and throw some lo-fi beats over it. And then I'll meet you when I'm taking a break. <music> and I finally finished the back piece of the cardigan. It looks amazing. I'm actually super happy about it. It's very long, so the cardigan is gonna be pretty long, which I'm super excited about, because I don't have many long cardigans that have a, um, a design like this, or any design, because I, I did sell the Alyssa Simpson cardigan. Anyway, so let's keep going. I'm gonna start working, and this is the back. Just gonna show you really quick. I did it pretty clean, actually. Um, it's very nice. So, so now I'm going to work on the two front panels. I actually started one yesterday and I'll show you. Um, and then we'll start attaching that and then finally making sleeves and then we'll do ribbing, which I'm really dreading because this is so long, but we'll see. I'm really happy how it turned out. Let's keep going and then see where it goes. For the two front panels, we're going to again use our green yarn. We're going to make a chain of 34 and then single crochet back and forth until we have 97 rows. So I'm going to continue working on that front panel and I'll meet you when I'm done. Whoop! So I just finished the two panels for the front. I decreased after 75 fifth row, every other row on the side just to kind of have it a little bit v-neck and then we'll do the ribbing later but so now we're ready to attach it to our back piece so let's do that and then continue on our sleeves 
I finished attaching the front panels and I want to show you the final look before we work on the sleeves. Sorry if it's too dark, it's nightfall in Colorado. Anyway, I love how long the cardigan turned out. You can't even see the bottom of it because it's that long. And the back piece is definitely my favorite. I can't wait for colder weather so I can wear this cardigan outside and not sweat. It's day four and all day I try to work on the sleeves of the cardigan. If you'd like to see how I crochet my cardigan, I do have three videos going step by step of my cardigan process. Now I'm gonna add some music and continue working on the sleeves. I'll meet you guys when I'm done. So I just wanna do a really quick update. So I just finished one of the sleeves. I'm just gonna put it on. And ta-da! It's looking pretty good. We still have a long way to go. And I think today's day four or five probably five but here is the sleeve i did the cuff it looks really nice crocheted everything and uh there's the back of course and so the issue that i'm running in i only have this much yarn left and that's definitely not going to be enough for the sleeve ribbing and the front ribbing and the bottom so i definitely need to run to michael so let's use this up and then maybe look in my room to see if we do have any more yarn and if we don't let's go to michael's few moments later so i finished the last bit of my yarn and it's around it's two o'clock right now so i'm gonna go to the store to michael's and let's get more of this green yarn i really hope they have it because it does run out really quick so let's go get some yarn okay so i just want to do a really quick update it is um 11 o'clock and I finished both sleeves and I did start at the ribbing in the front, which is exciting. And yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the ribbing on the back just because I kind of love the length of it already. So I only did one row, or actually, I didn't even finish yet. But it's three front posts, one back post, three front posts, one back post. It looks really nice so far, so I'm super excited how it's turning out. So let's keep going, and hopefully, tomorrow we'll be done and post the visual photos. I think this is day seven and we are just finishing up the ribbing in the front using the same green yarn and the same hook doing three front post double crochet and one back post. So I'll meet you at the end guys when I'm completely done with the cardigan and I'm almost done. I'm so excited. I can't wait to wear this. watching guys i hope you had a great day and i hope you enjoyed watching this video and i'll see you in my next one if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and i'll see you later